Now, given the pre unprecedented nature of the spill, the EPA directed BP to identify less toxic alternative dispersants. When the company failed to provide this information, EPA decided to conduct this testing independently in a rigorous, peer-reviewed manner. Specifically, EPA conducted a Q-toxicity test to determine lethal concentrations of eight available dispersants. First, we tested each of the eight dispersants alone. Then we tested the Louisiana sweet crude oil alone. And finally, we tested mixtures of the oil with each of these eight dispersants. Then we tested the Louisiana sweet crude oil alone. And finally, we tested mixtures of the oil with each of these eight dispersants. Then we tested the Louisiana sweet crude oil alone. BP's assumption, and, and again, I, I think this was actually a legitimate assumption because they were hoping like crazy that they would that this oil, giant oil field would be Louisiana light because that's the primary crude grade in these deep water fields, mm -hmm. which, is, which is very high quality oil. What they actually unfortunately found was a really un ugly form of crude laden with a bunch of, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but aspartines. It's what make asphalts comes mm -hmm. from. And so if it had been Louisiana light, it all would have come to the surface. They were hoping like crazy that they would that this oil, giant oil field would be Louisiana light because that's the primary crude grade in these deep water fields, mm -hmm. which, is, which is very high quality oil. What they actually unfortunately found was a really un ugly form of crude laden with a bunch of, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but aspartines. It's what make asphalts comes mm -hmm. from. They actually, unfortunately, found was a really un ugly form of crude 